Hmm. What's up, guys? Trading scenario, it's so annoying. <laughs> Too much mental stress. Yeah, I totally understand you on that. I like you have to like go into it, you have to like and just chill. And then like eventually you'll just get better at the the mode you're trying to get better at, but I totally feel you on that. It's also just like a, it's very tiring. mentally but you know worth doing <gasps> what is this course called this is um one wolf five targets policy Trigger has a better score than me, but I just started playing, so fuck him. This is a pretty good scenario, it's just annoying. I feel like things can crumble so fast. You're like, you're doing well and then you just miss like, fucking like a million little orbs. Yeah, I feel you on that too. I'm way better at tracking scenarios than I am at anything else. So I like I like to to do shit like this. I mean, like there's a little bit of tracking involved, I guess, depending on how you play it. Um, but I think like just challenging myself to do ones that aren't tracking is just worthwhile because I just I fucking suck at them. Cat is snoring in the background. Fucking cat. <clears throat> Triggers get weird around the corners in the bottom. I know. Like they get like fucking suctioned into the corner. But it's pretty fun. I mean. And I, like if it, it feels like the only way I, I truly enjoy. I mean, I guess this isn't really a multiplayer game, but I just like challenging myself with stuff like this. I think it's cool. I think there's a lot of like stats um, and training and stuff that's like missing. From like FPS esports, uh, I imagine with time things will just get better or more advanced. But I think it's kind of cool. Like you look at like you look at like basketball, for example, and like the amount of like advanced statistics in in basketball. Um, you can translate a lot of those over to you know like Valorant, for example, or 
you know, like an overwatch, I guess, if they actually had stats for the game. Um, but you can look at it even in like a broader sense of like, like sensitivities and like accuracies and like what's what's the most like efficient thing to do in a, in a way similar to like shot form but i think all that stuff is really interesting in fps games It is like a Super Mario level. I mean, I've been playing Valorant. Um, I was playing more before. I was like scrimming every day, but our team ran into a little hiccup. Uh, so we haven't really played in, in a couple of weeks. A little bit over a week, I guess. Maybe a couple of weeks now. So I've just been lying low. I'm playing a little bit of Apex, but my friends won't play with me. The 3v3, what is that supposed to be again? Like arena? Like team deathmatch or something? Is my mouse hand ever tensed? I mean, I think it really depends. I don't really think about it that much. I think in certain situations you gotta like tense it a little bit if you're trying to be like super accurate. Like I think it's like really just a, a thing where the better you are at switching in between and like noticing like how tight you're holding your mouse could be like a big difference because you don't want to hold it tight all the time but especially because like it makes your wrist like so taut that it's like you can't do the movements that you would do normally but like then again like if you're like i don't know like since i've played overwatch recently like if you're trying to track something moving really really fast like back and forth because the fucking movement on that game is like crazy like you do have to like tense it up a little bit you know just be like just make it like very very rigid because you won't really get like like perfectly center on the model unless you're like really trying but then obviously for like broader movements and stuff that isn't good so <clears throat> i play the apex 3 i read that they're finally expanding the game beyond the br it's going to be in a round based arena like when you pick a loadout spawn in a symmetrical map there's loot that spawn at the same point in the map every time objective in the middle that's kind of cool yeah i mean i would definitely fuck with that for sure Try it out. My problem with Apex is I really like fighting in that game, but it literally always feels ill-advised <laughs> to fight in that game. So, like, I don't know. Like, I've played, um, I was playing with Waz. He's, like, actually, like, pretty good. He's, like, Diamond or something. Um, but, I don't know, he's Diamond, and it was, like, me and another person who were, like, Plot. And like you literally just like never fight until you know you're gonna get like a third party on somebody and then you do it. Cause if you fight and it's in like a bad spot or you were like the first person to like aggro, you just literally get third party and you just lose. And it's like, well, so it's like for me, like when I'm playing Apex, like I always wanna fight. Cause sometimes you don't, you don't even find people. You go like minutes without finding people. It sounds like a, not a long amount of time, but it is like, you go a while without finding anybody. So when you find somebody, you're like, I want to fight them, you know? And then like, you just wind up getting like third party. And it's like, okay, cool. Sounds good. <sighs> yeah, Apex had a cool little, um, cool little resurgence because of Steam. Like there's a lot of people that are like playing again who just probably didn't want to play because they do everything on Steam and they didn't want to bother logging into Origin. But I wish Apex didn't run like shit. I mean, I assume like in their new 3v3 mode, it'll just be easier to run because it won't be like a server of like 70 people or whatever with a fully fleshed out map. But it's actually annoying how terrible that game runs. It's literally awful. What's up, Kevin? It runs like fucking shit, bro. Sounds terrible. Not only does it run bad, it's like, um, like you can't even in Apex, you can't even like fully, um, 
you can't even like fully utilize like 240 hertz like the engine like caps your like efficiency at like 180 something fps or something so it's like <clears throat> See what I mean, dude? I was like absolutely dominating. IDK, thanks for the sub. Absolutely dominating. And then I just missed. And then it all went to shit. No. source to handle a map that big yeah i don't either i mean i guess technically they didn't <laughs> or i guess technically they did but effectively they didn't so mm -mm. my fucking accuracy is so low do people just take more time i guess they just take more time huh i guess shrugger is just taking more time to make sure he's actually clicking them I always think that's pretty interesting in in Kovacs because you get to see like how people play certain modes. Our line is just absolute freaking nature apparently, but um, you just like like Shrugger and I score are so similar, but like our accuracies are so far off. So it's like clearly I'm I'm just like clicking way too much. I'm getting way too antsy. Wonder what like the best way to like build up your like skill on a Kovax mode is. Like to either go really slow and like try to like make sure you're you're hitting everything. Like not necessarily on this mode, but I guess that works for the analogy. Or like just going really fast and then hoping that it corrects itself over time. I would imagine like going slow and like making sure you actually like hit them and then over time it just becomes like more methodical is the best way to go. Cause you just pick up that speed later. You've been tripping around the town Want some fancy clown This thing's going crazy. <clears throat> yeah, Bardos does a video on how to play static dots. I don't know who that is, but. Going slow and getting faster is good. Yeah. That makes, I mean, that makes the most sense to me. You should just like build the technique and then you just go faster over time. What's reactivity? 
<laughs> it is annoying as fuck. I'm using the super light came in today. I put, I put in the little, what do you call it? Like the disc with the mouse gate on it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. I like it a lot actually. The, I don't know, it's, it's very like, I feel like it's very hard to not have this fit your hand, which is good. I mean, like I can just hold it like this and it's like just, Perfectly fine. My friend's uncle was in the military and that's how he described the training to get certain movements on perfectly at high speeds. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, I was using like a little bit higher sense on this one, but I was like, fuck that. I don't know. I'm using like 1.2 source sense right now. Which is kind of like how I like to play, so. But I can use whatever, honestly. I've used so many different sensitivities. I think it's really kind of like interesting because I've thought about it a lot. Because that's just what I do. Just like how, like what sense, like how it really depends more on how you aim and like almost like the kind of person you are. Um, and like which one suits you better, I guess. Cause I can use high sense, like no problem. Like my, like people have watched me and asked if my sense was super low and it was like something like pretty high, like probably like 28 centimeters or something at the time. So it's like, I, don't know, I could use whatever. It's just, I don't change my style at all. Like how the speed at which I move and like the way I like to aim and stuff at all depending on sensitivity. So I feel like just based on the way that I like to aim, it makes way more sense uh, to use a low sense. And it always kind of has, I mean like in TF2, I guess technically if you're looking at like a Valorant or Counter-Strike, my aim was, or my sense was pretty high. But by TF2 standards, it was definitely not. It's probably on like the lower end of medium. So. <sighs> Which one is air voltaic? Is, is is that the one with the the big ball that fucking flies around at like mock speed? Is not one of them. I was looking for like the name of that scenario. I was like interested in what it was. Did I play MGE? No. Yeah, I might try that eventually. Fuck you, sugar. Oh. Did you ever find it harder to rock jump? With a, I mean, I never rock jumped. I <laughs> definitely, but I never rock jumped. I don't know. TF2 is a funny kind of game where, like the 
the skill, I feel like the talent level, and as a result, the skill level is so low that people don't try to optimize anything in TF2. Like, there's there's pretty much no... Like, what's, like, a really good player in TF2 that actually uses, like, an aim trainer or something? Or, like, who who's, like, a... Who's an example of somebody who's actually, like... I don't know. I mean, I guess they could. I think, like, Slemnish is a really good aimer, for example. I guess he does that, too. But it's, like... In TF2, if TF2 were, like, a huge esport, you would, like, literally never see a scout player, like, playing Soldier or, like, demo in Pugs or something for fun. It would be, like, you're constantly playing scout. You're playing scout in, like, pubs. You're playing scout in Pugs. Pub, did I say pub or pug? Whatever. And then you're playing scout in scrims and you're playing them in mash, mashes. So it's, like, if you're trying to, like, calibrate, like, a sensitivity for yourself on scout, like, you should only be taking into account, like, playing scout. It should be, like, nothing else. And sniper, which would, I mean, to be honest, I felt like it was kind of easier to aim or to snipe with a, a high sense in TF2 for whatever reason, but I feel like that is probably not true, um, like, objectively, effectively, anyway. Uh, so it's, like, for me, like, yeah, I mean, like, if I, I used, like, maybe, like, a 12-inch 360, like, on average in TF2 when I played, so it's, like, definitely enough to rocket jump with, but if, like, I really cared about rocket jumping or like if i really cared about a low sense i wouldn't make rocket jumping be like the the be all end all it's like oh fuck dude i gotta make sure i pick a sense where i can rocket jump <laughs> you know it'd be like no i want to pick a sense where like i'm fucking i'm owning on scout and like that's all i give a shit about you know like nothing else really matters at all i go through gum like a fucking madman but yeah So it's like, and and like, don't like get me wrong. Like I've I've been somebody who's like suffered from this stupid idea too. Like, I've like gone into games like Valorant and like played a little bit and been like, you know, just trying to get better at Valorant. Like you know, making sure I pick a sensitivity that feels right to me in that game. And then like I'll be bored one day and I'll be like, let me join a TF2 pub. <laughs> And I'll like so I'll like uh, you know transfer from my sensitivity and I'll be like I can't rocket jump. Let me make it faster, you know? And it's, like, so stupid. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, it doesn't matter. Honestly, rocket jumping and, like, TF2 especially is, like, the only reason why, like, high sense is even a thing, I would imagine. Because, honestly, like, you could play Farah. You could even play Demo. On a pretty low sense, like, it doesn't matter at all because you're not turning around. It's just the fact that you constantly need to 180 on a soldier, on soldier, that you really need to, like, calibrate or whatever for that. Like, even in Quake, it's not, like, a big deal. Like, Quake rock jumping is, like, not even remotely the same as TF2, unless you're, like, doing, like, um, what do you call it? Like, defrag or something? Like, that's literally, like, the only thing that really matters. Like, doing, like, doing, have these always been here? Am I fucking crazy? What are these fucking, has that, uh, have these React things been here the whole time? And I'm just, like, just noticing them now. But, um. These health bar things, not health bars, but titles. I don't know. It's really only a TF2 thing. If you're if you're rocket jumping in like a dual map or like in a clan arena game or something, yeah, those have been there. I don't even know why they're there. That's why it's so, like my brain is like making sure they're not like it's it's blotting it out because why the fuck would these even be here? It's like so stupid. Like just make them. Like, why is it here? Anyway, um, if you're trying to like rocket jump around a clan arena map in Quake, it like doesn't even matter. Like you're not really like turning around perfectly 180 hitting the ground like doing all like the perfect you know the perfect 180 and getting the rocket in the perfect position you're just rocket jumping off like a wall or some shit um but like in in tf2 when you're trying to rock jump like you need to get like that 180 down i mean i guess you could technically use 
the uh, stock rocket launcher and then like always rocket jump from the right side, but like that doesn't always work. And then like when you have to do it from the left side, you're just going to be like even worse. So. I don't really think you need like a high sense on scout to like, I mean, to move like literally as best as possible. If you want to like jump in the air and like spin 50 times or whatever, sure. But like, that's always going to, it's always going to be a trade off. Like the higher your sense, the more emphasis you put on like movement and spinning around and like reacting. Like if you're going to play like Banny, for example, that's just like, you're not going to be as good mid range. You're not going to be as good like aiming wise like consistently you're just gonna have really good movement and like that i mean if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do um i do have a, a good cat i see long street score i think no maybe fast streams i think i played fast streams i don't know i have one of those good score i don't know it's just like it's just a trade-off like for example, like whoever said earlier that like Stark used a really low sensitivity, like I know that for a fact. Like Walters used a really low sensitivity, like way lower than like anything you see today. And like he might not have been like the best scout in the game or whatever, but people would instantly imagine that like it's impossible to play scout on a sensitivity like that. It's just not. Like you just have like like the thing about like using like a, a low sensitivity is people like the people like spawn into like a sandbox situation like this where they think that like this is just going to be the game so like if you're on like a low sense you're like walking around and you're like oh what the fuck and, and you're like spinning around in circles and it's like you're only like that if you're absolute dog shit at the game like every single game that you play is going to have like a linear type map especially 5cp it's literally just like follow this line to the end you know so you know where all your enemies are going to be they can be like here they can be here they can be here sometimes they can be behind but if they're behind like then probably your team fucked up because they don't even know that like there's a player behind them so it's like i don't know it matters but it doesn't really matter that much you can make up for like a lot of like speed turning around and, and shit by just having like the game sense and the knowledge that things are going to be in certain places and that's like especially why like just in tax shooters for sure people are using a low sense because they have to be super precise but at the same time they're also just like you hear that dog what the fuck that such a loud dog outside um they know at the same time that like if someone's behind them in that game especially an attack shooter it's like i'm fucking dead anyway so like if i can't do like a perfect 180 super fast then like who cares just doesn't matter that's why i think it's like the best that's why i think esports in general will just typically like if i were to think about it logically it's not like you'd go lower and lower and lower and lower in sense because obviously there's a diminishing returns at a certain point but i think on average the more serious esports get especially in like tax shooters you're going to find a lot less people who use like simple sensitivity or like forest sensitivity and a lot more people who use like a nico type sensitivity because it's just way more consistent and you're just trying to win you know you're just trying to fill a role on a team so like as long as you can do that for the best of your ability No, I mean, why is he only played on, like, a really, really high sense when he first started playing? He, like, lowered it later. But yeah, TF2 was, like, has always just been so, like, who cares? Like, there's just not a lot of optimization. So people could really flourish using like whatever the fuck they wanted to use because they were just like flat out better than the other player. Yeah, he did use a different sensitivity for soldier.
That's the last time I watched DF2. I don't know. It's uninstalled so a while ago. What's up, my breads? Oh, what's up? What's up, Bulin? I'm good. Fuck. Well, that was like... That was like the last time I pubbed. I mean, it depends what you mean by recently. Definitely within like months, probably. But I have it literally uninstalled right now. So I needed room on my hard drive. For, uh... Apex. Otherwise, I promise I'd have TF2 installed. <clears throat> what I've been playing recently? Uh, TF2. <laughs> TF2. Valorant. Uh, Apex. And then sometimes Overwatch if Shrugger wants to play quick play. I haven't played Hyperscape since it's been like fully dead. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not fully dead, but I think after the second Twitch Rivals, I just never played it again. Do I care much for the Overwatch 2 reveal? Uh, I think it's kind of cool. I mean, like, I'll probably play the PvE of Overwatch 2, but I don't really think it'll bring much change to the actual game at all. Um, my favorite MCR song, Dead. Dead is the best MCR song. skis thanks for the sub bro if you want to copy my aggressive style i have no idea man i have no idea that was the first one of your song you've ever heard i think my the first my chemical romance song i've ever heard was like helena or something Then mumble with him, he said he was gonna troll. I don't know what that means. I don't know, I never paid attention to accuracy in TF2. I'm pretty sure that was like way past my like prime. Like people looking at like their scattergun accuracy or whatever. I had literally no idea what like my average even was. Someone should definitely compile all of the stats though. That would be cool to see. Do I still talk to Wesby50? Uh, yeah, sometimes sparingly. I think I could play for Froyo Tech again. I mean, I, if they're gonna give me, if they gave me time to get better, then yeah, for sure. But I wouldn't be really good off the start. I 
I feel like my movement actually suffered way the most in TF2. By far. Just because, like, it's all based on, like, how good other players are and, like, what, like, the meta is, I guess. And, like, when soldiers are going to actually go for bombs and whatever. So, like, that's the most... Like, aim-wise, I think I'm, like... I'm definitely not as good as I used to be, but I'm not bad or anything. Just my... My reaction to, like, the way people play now is just not up to date. So it would take a while. <clears throat> oh, is that Overwatch? Did I play? I have like a... I remember I have like a video, maybe on Twitch, it's like a highlight or something. Where Siegel and I just fucking destroyed this medic. And that was like after we had like played Overwatch in the beginning and then it went down for like a month or something. For the release. Or maybe even for like second phase of beta or something. We were like, what do we do now? <laughs> Let's play TF2. I remember that though. I still fucking dominated though because I was pretty fresh off playing. How's Apex? Apex is alright. I mean, I really like the combat in Apex and I like fighting in Apex, but I feel like I never get to do it. So, I mean, I'm really waiting for like whatever new mode they said is on the horizon. That would be like way more fun. Like in arena mode where I actually just get to fight would be really cool. Oh, huh, cool. It is pretty annoying. I beat Shrugger's score recently. Oh my god, dude. Fuck, man. I'm one point away from getting higher than this fucking guy from VF, dude. The best aimers in the fucking world. God damn it, man. That's a bummer. Basically, Timefall 2. Yeah, I mean, apparently. What's up, Cell? I heard a bounce 180. I haven't actually, I've literally never loaded it. But I've heard it. I've heard people talk about it before. I've, I've heard, like, in Apex, a lot of people played bounce 180. But maybe. It's just a lie. Fuck it. I mean, I literally have like an hour on this mode or something. Still play Diabotical? No, I do not. I actually uninstalled it. Because I needed room on my hard drive or on my SSD. I mean, their rough, their rough estimation was like this year, but I feel like that's impossible. So I would say probably next year. Yeah, at least late next year. They said something on the Diabotical Discord about it. I like too good made like a thread when it was maybe it was like January first or something. It's like, Happy New Year, this game's dead. And everyone got really sad. But he said, a new, like, two new games at the end of the year or something, or like, within 2021. Shocked if something from that new game is playable. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it would definitely... I would imagine the way they did Diabotical that they'd probably be pretty 
interested in running a beta of the game, whether it's like closed or open. So maybe that's what they meant. Seems like that's all the norm these days anyway. You just release something you call a beta and you put it, uh, you run a Twitch campaign for it to get drops so people watch the stream. It's like how Rogue Company had like so many viewers. It's like Rogue Company's popping off. The game's like deader than dead now. Rogue Company was absolute dog shit. I mean, I don't think any hero shooter, like and anyone who's making like a modern day, like class-based shooter or whatever, hero shooter, it should definitely not play like TF2. There are way too many problems in TF2. TF2 is like way too old of a game to like base your, your shit off of. It would have to be like a blend of Overwatch, I guess. Like if you're gonna make it an arena shooter anyway, or arena shooter mechanics, it has to be like an Overwatch blend where like, rocket jumping is like one press of a button. If you want to make it like popular, that is, I guess. If you don't, if you just want to appeal to the, you know, 1,000 players that TF2 has, then I guess you could just copy TF2, but. Probably higher expectations from uh, the studio than that. Higher aspirations. Hyperscape died really hard. Cat's gonna sneeze and it's gonna fucking throw me off. Fuck. Do I duel? I don't duel in any game. Dueling is so unfun. I have like never, I put like one hour into duel and then I never wanted to do it again. It's just not fun. I really don't have that much fun like playing single player games, honestly. <laughs> duel to me feels like a single player game. Like I, I like to play games with people. Preferably like with people I like on a team. Uh, but I don't like, I don't know, I don't like to just duel. It's just like not fun to me. Like I'd have no interest in like getting better. Like half the reason I ever want to get better at like a game, like an eSport game even, is just because I like the people on my team and I want to get better with the people on my team. Like dueling is like, if you want to get better at dueling, you just literally have to like either treat it like Kovacs um, or you just have to be this, like, ultra-competitive psychopath that, like, just wants to beat people for the sake of beating them. 
uh, and I've never been like that. I don't really give a shit. Like, if you guys are better than me at dueling, you can have that. <laughs> Take it and run, I don't care. Losing so much concentration, dude. <clears throat> have I been able to keep my wrists and elbows in good health? Yeah, I mean, I don't really have any problems with my... I mean, definitely not my elbows. I don't really have any problems with my wrist either. Like, the only time I've ever had, like, real, like, wrist pain is, like, if I, like, just do something, like, outside of gaming, I guess. I imagine, like, the... The constant like pressure on it like makes it harder to you know it just your wrist gets like tired so if you try to do like other workout stuff that utilizes a lot of like wrist tension it can like hurt uh but i've never like i've never been in pain while gaming is i guess what i'm trying to say like i could have like the off day where like i slept on my wrist wrong and it like hurts or whatever but Never does it hurt during gaming. Like, none of the movements I'm making during gaming is ever hurting my wrist. So. <sighs> Gather items or... Oh, uh, with dueling. Yeah, dueling is just not fun at all, man. I'm telling you, it's just not fun. What about Minecraft Survival? I've never played Minecraft. Not once. Well, that's not true. I played Minecraft when it was, like, in beta. Like, really long time ago. Probably in 2010 or some shit. And that was, like, like not even Minecraft. Dude, Green New Deal all the way. How much time do I have in Kovacs? Not, I don't know, to be honest. I can never really check, like, my Steam hours or whatever, because it doesn't really matter, because <laughs> I leave it up all the time. Playtime, 172.4 hours in Kovacs total. But I feel like it's, it's definitely less than that, because I'll literally just leave Kovacs up, and I'll go, like, walk away from the computer. So... I don't think I've played close long strafes. I've only played... What's... Here, I'm going to quit this for a second. I also want to keep playing this, though. Um, how Can I check, like, my favorites? Like, where? how do I get to, like, my favorites? Is there, like, a way to check that? Or is it, like, I'm just literally... Yeah, so this one is what I have a pretty good score on. But the last time I played this was like a very long time ago. I don't know if I played long strafes. Oops. Dude, the, the Kovacs like UI is awful. Yeah, I didn't play this shit. So I only really played fast strafes because I thought it was like the hardest. I don't know why, but. <clears throat> oh, they're in local playlists. Local scenarios. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's going on. I, I just literally searched the scenarios I want to play. Like, the UI is so absolute dog shit. The stats. Mm, oh, yeah. So, Thin Gauntlet. 
Oh, it has to be within the last, yeah. But I played this. My score on this is really good. Never mind. There we go. So that's my highest score on this, which is really good. I think it's like top, it's at least top 100. Uh, my score on this also owns. I played this like once. Sandbox. Like, dude. What? Like, who would name this Sandbox? How about, like, Go Back? So weird, man. This, this like, rebrand as, like, the Sandbox is really weird. I pretty much tried, like, no. Like, if you have to ask me if I tried a scenario, I most likely haven't tried it. I've only tried, like, a handful. And most of them are like the popular ones. Or at least like popular among people that I know. <clears throat> I haven't tried Posse Small, I've seen it, but I feel like that would literally just piss me off. That, that kind of shit is, like, designed to piss you off. Like, the super small target ones. It drives me absolutely fucking crazy. I mean, even this kind of shit pisses me off. Like, when I miss one, like, really easily, I just get fucking annoyed. Like, how am I missing this shit? I don't know. It's sort of like, um, one wall, two targets. One wall, two targets is so fucking infuriating. Because they're, like, really, really small dots. And you have to, like, click both of them really fast. So typically, you want to, like, click one and then go... Or whatever. And when you miss, it's just... You have to click on it. And like sometimes it's just for no reason hard to click on it. Even though you're just slowly trying to put your cursor on it. It's just so stupid. I hate the static targets on a wall. Yeah, I agree. It's so fucking annoying. Playing Overwatch recently, it's actually really interesting. Like, Overwatch is one of the hardest games for me to, like, even calibrate a sensitivity I'd want to use. Like, if I was just going to play Valorant for the rest of my life, I would probably just use the lowest sensitivity I feel comfortable playing with. And if I wanted to play TF2 for the rest of my life only, I'd play, like, probably whatever I played in TF2 originally. I feel like in Overwatch, there's so many different heroes, and even within the same hero, different situations where you'd want a different sensitivity. And so it's like, just really weird. I don't know, like Tracer, for example. It's actually really good to have like, like using like 804, for example, is really good on Tracer, because you can like, just absolutely beam people from like mid range. Like, just absolutely beam them. Dead center model. And, like, that's really important in that game because the healing is so dramatic and fast that if you're not killing them immediately, then, like, you just lost your chance. So, like, having, like, really shaky aim on something in Overwatch is, like, never good. Because, like, by the time you leave them with, like, a sliver of health, they get, like, animated. And then, like, you're like, okay, cool, they have... 150 health again or like 200 health again or whatever so it's like really hard but then at the same time 
doing like blink melee shit constantly on tracer is really hard compared to like if you're at like 807 or 806 or something even 805 it just becomes way easier to do like those blink 180 melees and shit i don't know it's super weird it's a weird fucking game And like Genji's kind of like the same way. Like you basically can't play Genji unless like, I mean you can, you can play Genji I guess with a lot of sense, but you're just definitely fucking yourself over. No. Oh. I am so smooth. My palm and forearm drag so much against the pad. Uh. I don't know. I mean, mine does too, but I can't play without like short sleeves on, really, because like once there's like any hoodie drag, it's just awful. Um. I don't know. But I my arm drags. Pretty sure it's like impossible unless you play unless you play like this, your shoulder all the way up. Just people that use Excel, I don't think so. Really, I mean, you can't really like if you're in Overwatch League. The way Overwatch League worked with like peripherals is you would buy two versions of the same mouse or two different, you know products give one to blizzard take one for yourself and then you would go in and use their computer uh which would get like wiped at the end of every day basically like it's or like you know they would just have like a version of the computer that would just have overwatch and like that's it so like you have to like make sure that on your specific account you have you know razor um, if you needed to like change your sensitivity, your synapse, or, like Logitech or like something, you know, like you need to tell them beforehand. Uh, so like something like mouse Excel, I feel like it would be really hard because you need like that, what do you call it? Povo hat shit, right? So that's, I don't know. I don't know if that's um really like, I'm sure, I guess it could be doable, but it would be like a big headache, I think. I mean, Mouse Excel just really doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I would only ever use Mouse Excel if I had a really low sensitivity and I needed to do 180s. And that would be, like, the only use that I would ever want Excel for. Because, theoretically, Excel makes no sense to me. It's, like, an exponential way to use something that, like, is just, like, could just be linear. Like, you could just have your sensitivity be no excel and then like when you move it from point a to point b it's the same every single time no matter how fast you move your your arm but then like 
adding like some kind of like exponent to that based on like the speed at which you move your arm it's like i just feel like that makes no sense and unless like i really wanted to do a 180 with low sense that's the only time i'd ever use it because it would also matter the least if like my sense were low enough The guy really broke movement with the mouse excel. Is he still not on mouse excel? Is he like trying to get used to having a normal sensitivity? defeated me. I mean, I, I can't imagine Mouse Excel ever being like a consistent, like, how, I don't know how you'd ever, I mean, I guess it could, like, it's just harder. And I don't even see like the use for it, really. Like, I don't know why you'd ever need it to even exist. Oh, Rush Stables was so he never had any games. So he was literally just like aiming worse because he thought that's so funny. It's like a fucking experiment. A guy like told Muma to turn off his his Windows Excel, and when he goes back into game, he's like, I can't even. That everything just feels different. And I'm watching him like aim, and he's missing like every shot on McCree, like over and over and over again. And I'm like, oh, I guess something actually changed. And he's just getting fucking placeboed hard. It's so funny. Fuck. This is such a weird game because like I feel like I'm bad but like my score is pretty good so it's like kind of it's kind of weird I still feel so bad at this game <laughs> but like rank 700 is pretty good I feel fucking awful I like I'm missing everything maybe everyone just sucks I mean it's very possible Foe clearly is just fucking awful. Like, look at this shit. Kidding. 
69 accuracy. Of course. Come on, Linkser, practice. Yeah, I mean, Kovacs is definitely interesting in that respect, for sure. Wait, you only have uh, you only have system time and FPS on yours. I like to have the session thing on. Um, I should definitely take all this rest of this shit off though. <laughs> I don't even know why it's on. Um, so I want what the fuck is this? <laughs> Clock meter. What the fuck is that? So I want, um, this is the actual, is that this clock? I probably want that on. Uh, kill text off, movement bar, health bars, speed, <laughs> speed, <laughs> player info, uh, weapon, I guess I can keep weapon on. I'm keeping weapon on because when I first loaded this up, I was using the LG. And when I was clicking on things, it wasn't dying. And I was like, I'm pretty sure this game is a one-shot game. <laughs> what the fuck is hotbar? I don't know, whatever. Oh, that's so much cleaner. Damn. I'm definitely the best Kovacs player to ever have all that shit on my screen. I was beating VF people scores. That's what I was playing with.
Oh, what's up, Gavin? Bro, meat shot for sure, bro. Meat shot. That's a fucking meat shot. I should try small. Yeah, I could. Fuck around. I have like pre made black dot. I made a black dot across here. Look at this fucking thing. I haven't tried reflex hard flick. This is so hard to see on this. What else can I fuck with? Try a circle. That would be pretty good. Red crosshair, but all my targets are red. Hey Gab, why don't you go play with your boy, bro? It's probably playing Apex right now. Imagine being colorblind and not being able to use green crosshairs in game. That's fucking crazy. No, 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 you know, your boy, bro, your boy, you should play with him, you probably need some people. Don't play dumb with me, you know what I'm talking about. is green are you sure that your green is the same green that I see Yeah, I, I think a lot of men are colorblind. I think it's like a really high chance of colorblindness in men. His entire life is the Swedish flag. I got a pretty good score on that, um... You know that, like, torturous... Uh... Color test with, like, all the different hues, like, down in a line? Goes from like salmon to like orange or whatever. 
I had a pretty good score on that. I think I actually almost did every single color route. Yeah, was he was colorblind? I mean, he might need a squad, Gavin. I think you should play with him, though, because you're, like, a really good player or whatever, so you could probably, like, help him out. How about you beat my score, Shrugger, and then you tell me to finish a run? I have no idea what he was. I have no idea. When I browse Insta, people edit their photos so so much, I feel like I'm going colorblind. Yeah, I've never been much of a filter person. Yeah, well, you don't have to see me finish the run. I'll clip it later for you. This shit lasts too long, man. Like, this shit should be 30 seconds. Like, that's the one thing I hate about Kovacs modes is, like... It's like useful for practice, but I literally don't even finish off the runs because I just get so bored. I get like so bored and like once I do badly, I'm just like, why am I even going to try to finish this run? This shit should be 30 seconds, 45 max. Instead, it's just a minute of you like looking at these things flying around. Whoever made this a minute is crazy. <laughs> at the bottom. Oh shit! There you are. <laughs> you are fucking insane, bro. Well, the way it's on a minute scaled weirdly, I think due to the bots, it's more like a minute 20 seconds. <laughs> what the fuck? This thing is warping fucking space time as I play it. Fucking, we're in a, in a high gravity scenario right now. Like, and then I just, like, I miss those things, like, two times, and I look up at the clock, and there's another 50 years. That is definitely longer than a second. You are 100% correct. There's no fucking way that's a second. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even looking at the system clock. I'm just looking at the numbers, and there's no fucking way that's a second. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think you're actually lying. I just thought you were maybe misremembering. God, that's the fucking worst, dude. No wonder. chill for a little bit we can uh shoot the shit is that what they say just chatting gotta make sure i go with just chatting 
could shoot the breeze. That's that's one two for sure. I mean, I was pretty relaxed. If I strained my arm, I would definitely get tired though for sure. I haven't done benchmarks. That's crazy, bro. I was like literally, I was playing a minute and twenty seconds or something of Pasu, still beating Shrugger's score. Crazy. Crazy. Bro, you're just jealous, Gavin. I need to go help him out. <clears throat> but I don't know. Like I, I just kind of prefer. When I'm playing actual games, I think I prefer lower sense. What it is, is like, I'm very like, um, I don't know, this feels like I'm like fabricating a reason why. But I have like slight OCD, like not fake OCD, like not, I turn the lights on three times or something that like the media makes you think is OCD. Like I have like actual slight OCD. So like when I'm on like high sense it kind of just like makes me like i don't know it's like weird it like overwhelms me in some weird way like i I need to like know that like i'm gonna hit a shot <laughs> i don't know it's like a weird thing to like say but it's like when i'm on high sense <clears throat> you, you watch like really good high sense players and they're like always like they're like whiffing but they're going right back and they're just like it's just constant movement with like the mouse and, and like the cursor and you're like okay i hit this guy okay fucking forget about this guy i'll look at somebody else like it's very all over the place and for it's just not the way that i play at all and like not the way my brain works at all so it's like i don't know kind of fucks with me um i don't know it really depends what game it is too like i, I can use like pretty much any sensitivity in like a quake game like It's really for like the games that utilize like more like posu type aiming and like like one wall, two targets and, and shit like that. Like uh, what's the other one? Like grid shot. What's the Kovacs one? Tile frenzy. Like that type of aiming, I can't use like high sense. I'm like really bad at it. Um, but like I could literally jump into like Quake or Diabotical and turn my sensitivity up to like 804 and it like wouldn't make a difference like to me like i i would still be really good at that game so it really depends for games that are very precise i i'm just really bad with like any type of high sense gameplay but for quake i could use like pretty much any sense high or low it doesn't really matter are you allergic to me what's going on Oh, I, saw, I actually got a G Pro super late. Came back into stock. Uh, when was it? The sixth, maybe? Um, I had like an email notification for it, which I actually didn't even check. I was talking to Ty Rong randomly. Uh, and he was like, do you have one? And I was like, no, like it's out of stock or whatever. And I was like, fuck it, let me just like look one more time. And then I realized I had uh, an email notification. I was like, oh, fuck. So I just ordered it. I will review it. Um, I just have to work out the the video. Uh, but it's really good. I mean, like, I think the G Pro Shape is pretty good. I, like, used to use, or I tried one of my teammates' G Pros back in Overwatch League. And I think I liked it, but for whatever reason, I didn't stick with it. Um, but that was back when I was pretty much just Apollo. Thanks for the sub. I was pretty much just an EC2 player back then. Like I pretty much only used like Ergomice, um, almost exclusively like the EC2, um, Death Adder. So it was like just kind of weird for me to go to like an Ambi shape. Uh, but after Overwatch League, and I started messing around with like Valorant and and apex and, and stuff like that um i just got more into ambi mice so like the last mouse i used was like the viper mini 
and before that like the viper so it's like it just prepared me a lot more for this shape and now comparatively this shape is like a thousand times better for like just palm gripping than like anything like the viper mini or like you know whatever can i fit it in my mouth yeah i mean probably yeah definitely i could definitely fit it in my mouth but that's another thing too the lod is a. Uh, way better on the g pro than the viper mini the viper mini lod is so fucking bad it drives me fucking crazy i don't understand like how they were able to do that shit like to just like release that mouse with lod like that like it's really bad and even with the fix it's still bad there's like a firmware fix for it and even with the fix it's like it's better but it's still pretty bad and for a mouse that's like 60 grams and that's small Having something that has not perfect liftoff distance is ridiculous. It's like so hard. It's so fucking hard. Um, you just feel like never in control of the mouse. So I like the the G the G Pro X for sure. I like that shit way more. I mean, my hand is just the Viper Mini is just super fucking small. So it's like. Like I have it right here and it's like, it's just, if I'm, if I'm holding it, like I'd hold the G pro, it's just really small in my hand. Like, I don't know. It's just a super small mouse. So it's hard for me to, uh, feel like comfortable doing it. Uh, the G pro original G pro has double click issues for sure. If you ordered it from Logitech, I think they have pretty good. Um, what do you call it? That's what I'm looking for. I guess customer support so you can like get that probably like replaced or something yeah rma there you go uh but the g pro x uses different clicks i think so it's it's not an issue on the super light just on the g pro oh yeah fucking a proto is sick I agree. I think he's super good. I've noticed that comparison as well. He's a sick aimer. You think it's hard to get cozy on? I think it's pretty easy. I don't know. For me, it's it's not. I guess it's really dependent on the size of your hand or whatever, but I don't know. When I'm palm gripping it, it's it's fun. Like, I don't notice any issues at all. Like, and it doesn't really, it doesn't fall out of my hand or anything, and I'm not even really uh, gripping too hard, so... <sighs> thanks star wars you got my back man dex uses omron 20 gotcha that's that's a that's a shame but i think it's 1610 <laughs> the resolution <laughs> I, don't I don't really fuck with resolutions that much for like valorant it's always been a uh, native for me i just play i just play valorant and uh, apex generally stretched val i've tried stretched val for like an hour maybe and i, I just went back to native it just kind of looks Valorant's like the, a kind of game where I think it looks so much worse not at, at native res. It looks fucking awful compared to like Counter-Strike, like Global Offensive. Like I don't even like realize that it's like bad res. Like I don't think the game is really like sharp enough for me to notice it, but it looks so garbage in Val with, uh, with low res. I hate it. Oh, uh, I... Yeah, I definitely didn't try stretch that. I tried... Whatever I tried didn't have a, it wasn't native, so it probably had like black bars or whatever, but I changed it back. It literally looked like shit. I even tried using like 1600, 900, and even that looks like fucking shit compared to the, the 1080p. It looks so bad. <clears throat> Too bad I quit TFT. I mean, 
I don't really care about that game. If I wanted to go back into TF2, I could easily try to play the game again. It's just not really something I care about. You can search Valor, it just doesn't actually have any effects. Okay. I think the crosshairs might be like the only part that look okay on like lower res in Valorant, but it, the rest of the game just looks fucking awful. Fucking terrible. But yeah, I don't know. As far as the mouse goes, I think it's pretty good. It's light. And it's like weird because it's like pretty much just as light as the Viper Mini, but it feels so much, you feel like you have so much more control over it because it's not like this super tiny flat mouse like the Viper Mini is. Like the, the height is like a big thing for mice, I think. Yeah, they did the same thing for the, um, for the outset, like the, the outset height is like just, it makes you feel like you have way more control over the mouse than, um, than even like the EC2. I'm on the, uh, I'm using the HyperX Speed Edition. Yeah, I use the, the mouse puck uh, skate. I don't even, I don't think it really makes that much of a difference though. Yeah, I wanted to get an artisan, but I feel like it's just I have some artisan, but it's kind of scuffed at this point. Um, but it's just so much money for a mouse pad. It's like, do I really want to spend that on a mouse pad? Who knows? You know, Twitter regulars. I can never really get into. It. It's hard for me to continuously like tweet out garbage on Twitter. It's like I'll be like, all right, tomorrow I'm gonna tweet something, and I'm just like, I don't care. I realize I just simply do not give a shit. Um, but I pretty much hate everybody on Twitter. They're the worst. The absolute worst. There's so much vile shit on Twitter. Uh, setup tour? I don't know. Sometime in the future. It could be the best mouse pad. No, I don't play like a T-Rex. I play like pretty much as high as I can possibly go on the desk. If you copy what I eat, uh, I don't eat meat. So that's kitty. I think it's Benadryl. Yeah, so I don't I don't eat meat. I eat a lot of beans and rice. Uh noodles. Water. Water's pretty good. I try to I mean I try to drink more water. I don't really like water that much, but I I kinda like force myself to drink more water. Otherwise I'll never drink it, literally. Oh. what's the reason for not eating meat i don't eat fish fish is meat bro i hate this whole like fish is not meat shit uh i don't i mean i don't eat it for i guess two reasons uh just environmental reasons just not uh just not you know trying to lessen my footprint as much as possible but also just ethically I think like, um, at least in my case, once I stopped eating meat, it became really easy for me to look at meat for what it is, I guess. Um, I never really thought about it before, like when I was eating meat, like as a kid, like it's not like I was like born a vegetarian or something. So 
it, like I never really thought of meat as anything else other than just like food. And then like once you stop eating meat, you kind of like look at it in a different light and you're like, uh, you know what I mean? Like you start like, you start like looking at pigs and cows as like actual animals. Um, and you look at like hamburgers just being like pieces of them. So it's just, you know, gross. At least for me. I don't drink soda, really. I mean, I drink like, uh, what do you call it? Like seltzer water. Like that's pretty much the only type of soda I like. <clears throat> fish aren't cute. I mean, fish are all right. I think they're kind of cute. They could be cute. I mean, the, the problem with fish for me is like, I do agree that probably most fish are pretty brain dead. Um, yes, I understand. Uh, but fishing encapsulates like such a large amount of organisms. Like people consider like whale fish and like octopus fish, but like they're like, they're like really smart. I mean, like whale is like obviously like a an exception, but like people eat a lot of octopus, and like octo octopi are incredibly intelligent creatures. So it's like kind of hard to be like chill with that for me. Fish didn't do anything to me. I don't eat them out of respect, so they owe me. drink anything carbonated since January 2007. It's quite a long time. <clears throat> I see Sentinels getting 10s to stand in. Yeah. Happy for 10s. He's, seems like a really nice kid. He's really good. So He's, he's fucking sick. Like, just even watching him play, like, ranked, he's, like, fucking insane at that game. He's always been insane. Like, when I played closed beta, like, pretty much all the CS players were, like, they were, like, good. But Tens was, like, a whole nother fucking level. I think it's just because, like, he took the game super seriously off the start. So, like, he was just destroying everybody in the first, like, week on Jet. It was, like, insane. thoughts on competitive eaters that shit's kind of weird um uh, but i mean whatever have i tried the lap room meat substitutes yeah like beyond meat and stuff beyond meat is quite good i like all the meat substitutes they're good they taste good i mean they're not like particularly healthy but neither is you know eating a hamburger so <clears throat> do i still have that vod of me playing beta against Styrian days i don't think so but i have the clip of me killing like just peeking and like one tapping him or whatever like when he was saving but i don't have the uh the whole vod yeah the, the cs players were not amazing when the game uh first came out but uh i got <laughs> there's there's an interview with uh wardell Fuck, what was it for? I don't know. It was just like he got picked up by TSM and it was like his like intro like I'm Wardell type thing. And it was, oh, who was it? It was Fion, I think. Uh, like that writer slash interviewer guy. Um, and he like wrote up, did like a video thing for Wardell. And he was like, any other players to like to like look out for or whatever in, in NA? He was like, I think, I think Clockwork, he's like a, I think he's like an overwatch manager <laughs> and like <laughs> fion like was like oh yeah yeah no clockwork is an overwatch player because <laughs> he's like obviously like from the overwatch scene um but it was really funny he like literally thought he was just getting like he, he said he thought i was cheating and it makes me it's so funny to me that like someone could think like is this guy cheating and then they like ask somebody like who i am and somebody's like Oh uh, yeah, he's an Overwatch manager. <laughs> it's like okay. <clears throat> Kitty's leg is dirty. It's cleaning his leg. 
is he popular in the NICS scene? I don't know. Probably. I mean, I, I know he's like a big part of the CS scene. Damn, Mendo had a good tweet here. I'm looking at Twitter on my computer and not showing you guys. Sixty four hundred likes on that Mendo tweet. It's killing it. Favorite vegetable. Eggplant. I could be interested. I but I I kinda want somebody to just make me a controller. Like I wanna like pay a premium price for a controller, for a GameCube controller. Um, I think like if I wind up getting one, like that's what I would go for because it not only like supports people that make controllers, um, but it's also just like good, probably way better than eBay one, but I could also be probably, uh, what's the word coerced into buying a, uh, an eBay controller. A manager. You know, eggplant is the best vegetable, man. Although I guess it really depends. Like, there's so many vegetables, like what you consider to be a vegetable. Like beans are just like fucking sick. Like black beans are like the best. They're like so versatile. They're so good for you. But I think as far as like making like really good dishes of vegetables, I think like eggplant is like top notch um like if you like if you like cheese like eggplant parmesan is like insane i used to eat that a lot when i was younger broccoli you think broccoli is the best vegetable broccoli is definitely not i mean i can eat broccoli but it needs to be like boiled like uh garlicky broccoli is pretty good um but i can't i don't really fuck with the uh, like eating like raw broccoli like some people do or like eating any type of like crunchy broccoli i'm just not a big fan it needs to be like soaked in like garlic so when i eat it it doesn't have any crunch at all Black beans really are amazing. What's another? What's your favorite fruit? Is there a good fruit? I feel like I haven't eaten fruit in so long. Like I haven't bought fruit other than like bananas in so long. I kind of want an apple. I haven't had an apple in forever. Hmm. An apple, kiwis are so good. There are so many fruits I haven't had in so long. Hmm. Grapes? I don't really like grapes. Grapes are just like water to me. Mangoes? I'm not really a big mango guy. I feel like that's like the biggest, that's like the weirdest thing about my food taste. Like usually I'm all over people who are like weird with their their food tastes, like things they like. Like when people say their favorite apple is like red delicious or something. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like I'm really, I'm really into that, you know, like shaming people for their weird food choices. Um, but I think that's that's a weird thing for me. Yeah, like, this guy's never had oatmeal. That's the weirdest thing ever to me. Like, how could you never have had oatmeal once in your life? That's insane. Um, but yeah, I don't really like mangoes. I don't know. The taste isn't really, like, my, my thing. I don't really like pineapples either is the thing. So it's, like, very similar. Yeah, mandarins are really good. 
Clementines are really good too. Big fan of those. You know what I really like? Cherry tomatoes. I think those are really good. I'm not really a big fan of eating like raw tomato, um, but cherry tomatoes are sick. For sure. Plums are also really good. Pe I actually really like pears. I think like a juicy ripe pear is really good. And a peach. Peaches and pears are, are sick. Watermelon's okay. Watermelon is like another one of those things that's like, it's kind of just like water to me. Uh, but I like watermelon more than grape. More than grapes, for sure. I haven't had a durian. That's the smelly fruit, right? It's like really smelly. I've only experienced those through YouTube. Yeah, avocados are really good too. Avocados are sick, but those are like really something I'd only eat as like a topping on something. But I mean, some people, I mean, avocado toast is really good. <clears throat> yeah, no, oatmeal, you not having oatmeal is the weirdest thing in the world, by the way. Like, it's still just, like, go make oatmeal right now. Like, just go buy some oatmeal and make it. It's so easy. You can literally just pour some milk in and put it in the microwave if you're lazy. And it's still good. Oatmeal is, like, insane. Oatmeal is one of my favorite, like, filling snacks. Peace out, skis. Skeezy. Real skis. I haven't eaten one, Skeezy. I've, I've had that, like, flavored, though, for sure. You've only had rolled oats? I mean, pretty much all types of oats are really good. It's nothing uh, too weird. Nothing will surprise you. Overnight oats are really good. I hadn't even like heard of or tasted over overnight oats until like Overwatch League. Um, but those are sick. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I like to describe my food. It's fucking sick. Yeah, I use oat milk in oatmeal, naturally. Overnight oats are like, you should Google it. It's hard to, uh, to really get like a mental picture of it. But it's really good. It's just like you're, you're making oatmeal by just... Here. You're not like cooking the oatmeal. But it's sick. It's so good. So good. Oh, it's so good. Am I a cute boy? Sometimes from the right angle. Red is the best color flavor. Yeah, probably. Red or pink or blue sometimes. Definitely not orange, for sure. I think like, like orange, okay, so orange starbursts and uh, Orange Starburst and like yellow Starburst are like fucking disgusting. Literally awful. Just just straight up awful. People who like that, who like prefer those color Starbursts are insane. Literally insane. It's 
so fucking weird. I've only, I refuse to eat any Starburst that isn't pink, red, or, I don't know, what is it, like, one of the tropical ones is good too, but I think the tropical ones in general, like three out of the four of them are bad. I like red, red is good. Pink's way better though. Pink is like top, top tier, and then red is underneath. And then, what are you, dude, why are you going on with this like weird troll? It's just so weird. Like, leave that shit in your fucking elementary school. But, uh, yeah, like red and pink are the best. Orange and yellow are just absolute dog shit. Um, that's another candy. Uh, vines or whatever. What are they called? The red vines. Those are shit. It's dog shit. Um, Twizzlers, thank you. I was like, what the fuck are they called? Twizzlers are awful. Um, it's another shitty candy. Oh. I've only on like the tip of my tongue. Oh, Smarties are dog shit, man. How do people eat Smarties? Are they crazy? That shit is like, it tastes like chalk. It's chalk. Different colored chalk. It's crazy. Yeah, candy corn is also awful. I agree with that. I used to love, the crazy thing is when I was a kid, when I was like 10, I used to love candy corn. I don't know how, but I fucking loved it. And then like, somehow I just, I don't know. My tastes evolved. But like, I feel like as a kid, you just eat the, the most sugary, just absolute garbage. Maybe that's what it is. Like, maybe as a kid, you just literally, like, as long as it's sugary, you don't care. Because I used to eat um nerds all the time. Like, nerds were so good. Like, when I was a kid, dude, I would just take a carton of nerds and just pour it into my hand and just, like, an entire palmful of nerds. No, I've never had that. That's Sonic? I feel like I don't really have Sonics near me. <laughs> it feels like diabetes. Yeah, that shit is... I always have that in the back of my mind when I eat too much sugar nowadays. But I fucking love sugar. Like, I swear, sugar is like my crutch. It's, I, I fucking love sugar. I love it. I love cake. I love brownies, cupcakes, muffins, cookies, like fucking every, everything imaginable. Mounds and Almond Joy are okay. I don't really, I tend to not really like can't like, like just chocolate candy that much. Like the, just like the Hershey's brand candy. Like I don't, I don't really like that that much. I much prefer to have something made with a little more substance when I have like sugar. So I like, 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 uh, what are they called? Fuck. What the fuck? How do I not remember this cookie? Snickerdoodles are fucking insane. I love snicker snickerdoodles. I actually like straight up sugar cookies. The chocolate chip cookies that are like really soft, like soft chocolate chip cookies are fucking insane. Uh, I even like, um, like cosmic brownies are good, dude. I can literally eat any type of like sugary shit. I, I, I love it. I love it. Cotton candy is awful. Fucking awful. Terrible. I, that's another thing I used to like as a kid that I don't even understand how. It's like you're eating sugary air. It's fucking terrible. I 
I don't understand why people make hard cookies. Do you get that? I've never understood that in my life. Every soft cookie is infinitely better than hard cookies. I love ice cream. Huge ice cream person. But it needs to be like, I don't really like chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream is like just bad. It's a bad form of chocolate. Vanilla ice cream, like cookies and cream, cookie dough, like that is insane. Like vanilla crunch, like that type of stuff. Like just vanilla with little pieces of chocolate in it or like cookie dough in it are just insanely good. Yeah, I mean, Oreos are hard cookies, but they're like, the only acceptable hard cookie is like a, a thin chocolate like uh like thin mints and like things that are just like chocolate flavor with like maybe a little bit of mint that's the only acceptable like hard cookie that i could eat um yeah i like mint chocolate chip ice cream it's pretty good um but uh yeah i don't really um I don't really fuck with like chocolate ice cream at all. I don't really like biscotti. I'm like very anti anti biscotti, very not Italian in that respect. All right, stop. I'm never going to eat vanilla ice cream again. Gelato's is pretty good. I'm a big fan of gelato. I don't even really like cannolis, though. I don't like things with filling. Any type of, like, over-the-top needless filling, I tend not to really like it. So, like, um, what's that donut that everybody likes for no reason? Uh, like, Boston cream donuts are awful. Uh, jelly donuts are awful. But gelato's good. I, I kind of like all those flavors. Have you had birthday cake Oreo? Those are so good. Birthday cake. Okay, birthday cake flavored things. So much sugar. But so fucking good. I love them. I actually love them. I don't know how you don't like them. But I think they're so good. I've never had deep fried Oreos. So that just seems gross to me. I fucking love birthday cake. I mean, it needs to be like like good though. It needs to be like, it can't just be like, what's a good example? There's definitely been like birthday cake flavored things. I've been like, eh. But like if you get, um, if, yeah, if you get, cold stone their birthday cake ice cream is just fucking insane it's so unbelievably good cold stone birthday cake remix oh my god it's so fucking good Look at this shit. You're telling me you don't want this? You're telling me you don't want this? Yeah. Cake batter ice cream is insane. It's insanely good. It's like a clown with ground up. It's so good, man. No, I, I've never tried that. Vienetta. Um, but yeah, no, I, in Burbank, when we were in Overwatch League season one, my girlfriend and I literally, we had so many Cold Stone trips. Actually, maybe it was the second season of Overwatch League. I don't know. Regardless. So, like, just an unbelievable amount of Cold Stone. And I would get, like, the fucking... Like, I'd get medium. 
a cold stone, which is like pretty fucking big. Like medium is medium is like easily a thousand calories of ice cream. So like just think about the amount of sugar that's in the thing. And I would have it so often. It was so good. I've had so many birthday cake remixes. I don't know how I'm alive. I get it on and off with the waffle cone. I actually kind of prefer not to have the waffle cone because it's like less stress. I like the waffle cone, but eating with like any amount of cone, conage in ice cream, like kind of gives me like a little bit of like, I don't know. I get overwhelmed by the, the cone and I don't want it to like drip out and like fall out and whatever. It's also just kind of needless calories, which at that point, why are you even bothering with calories if you're going to eat an entire medium of cold stone but you know a soap i don't know how to pronounce that i have not a sopapilla i don't know what that is What is that? Oh, that looks so good. That does look so good. This reminds me of, um, I don't know if it's even really the same thing, but this reminds me of like, uh, like funnel cake or like, uh, what are they called? Like an Italian. The Zeppeli or whatever. That's what it reminds me of. Have to eat them with honey. Okay. But those are really good. Do you guys used to have funnel cakes? Anybody go to town fairs when they were younger and have funnel cake? Oh my god. Here you go, Jacob. You can take a look at my sugar addiction again. That's what, this used to be my fucking shit. <laughs> Look at the powdered sugar on top. Oh, what's the, what's the purpose? Why is it there? It really is. I'm not really bad with sugar anymore, but I used to be. My mom was the same way. Like, my whole family is really, like, on my mom's side, is like, they're obsessed with sugar. Like, every single time we'd have, like, a get-together of any kind, it's, like, someone would bring, like, cookies or, like, donuts or, like, brownies or something. It's fucking... So good. Green chili... Isn't sugar designed to get you obsessed with it? Probably. And it worked. So. It, it really worked on me. Like. Yeah. I don't know. I'm really into brownies too. Some people really aren't into brownies, but like even like a fudge brownie. Fudge is insane. Fudge is so good. That piece I blew in. The brownies are so good. I'm so into, I'm so into fudge. 
I love fudge. But like, I'm not even like super, I'm super into sugar, but I also just like chocolate, like any kind of like, even just dark chocolate, like chocolate I've had from, from like Belgium and places where they actually make good chocolate. It's sick. So good. So good. I've mainly stepped away from from the uh, overindulgent sugar. But uh I do need a little bit still. It's just sugar makes everything so much better. Like even even just something as simple as oat milk. Like I've tried a bunch of different types of oat milk. And there's a lot of unsweetened oat milk and unsweetened almond milk. And it's literally just like water, you know? And then like you get like the good brands and it's like just, just even like six grams, eight grams of sugar per serving. It's like so much better, like worlds better than, uh, than just having it with no sugar. Like even just with cereal, like even if you eat like typically sugary cereal to not have like the base of it have any sweetness just is weird it's like you're drinking sugar water <sighs> here's this place that sells some of the most enlightening chocolates it's a good adjective imported beans Interesting. What's um what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh, speaking of protein, when I used to work out I would mix my like vanilla protein powder in like oat milk some type of granola like frosted cheerios or like some kind of like basic like honey nut cheerios some kind of basic like sugary cheerio and i used to cut bananas into it i didn't have birthday cake protein i should have if they had it i would have but they didn't have it when i was looking um but I used to mix all that shit and like, I used to just like put the milk in, put the protein powder in, mix it in, like stir it in. And then just put like granola, banana, honey nut Cheerios, stuff like that. And then it was so good. Oh, it was so good. So good. And it was like, you know, I got to have all this sugar because I got to have my protein powder. Cause how am I not going to, how am I going to get big if I don't have my protein powder? You're more of a broccoli meat kind of guy, Belle. Broccoli and meat. Well, I mean, at least you eat broccoli. I don't eat broccoli, so. I don't even eat meat, but I don't eat, I don't eat broccoli either. So you have me beat on that one. <clears throat> you some mix my fruit. Yeah, coffee. And protein powder is pretty tight. It's not bad. Oh, I have caffeine every day. I've had coffee every day since I was like, I don't even know, 18 maybe. Like every single day. If I skip a day of, of coffee, it's like a, a really bad day. I have like a throbbing headache. It just, I feel like off. Um, so yeah, I have coffee like every single day. It's fucking sick. <laughs> it's so sick. It's so sick to be addicted. Oh yeah, Diet Coke is straight up awful. This is spearmint. I actually kind of prefer peppermint gum, but it's five spearmint gum.
I feel like Diet Coke could be worse for you than regular Coke. I don't really know. It could just be like some kind of xylitol. Uh, well, is it going to kill me? No, I don't think so. I don't see any. Oh, it's good for my teeth. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't have that in it, so. No, it's not sugary. There are like sugar alcohols in it, but. Um. What was I gonna say? I was gonna reply to something. Oh yeah, Diet Coke. What's well, not? The human body can't digest artificial sugars. So you're saying Diet Coke is worse? I would not be surprised if Diet Coke is straight up worse for you. But, I mean, I think it's one of those like trade-off things. Way better for you. Aren't like artificial sugars like absolute dog shit for you though? Like artificial sugars is like one of those things where it's like not going to give you diabetes, it's just going to give you cancer. I don't know. Who knows? Could also just be nothing. I feel like you're choosing one disease over another most of the time. <laughs> so, you know. Then you get to use all of that free American health care to heal you. So But yeah, I don't I don't eat any type of, or I don't drink Coke at all. The only um I only drink sparingly the uh, shit like um, like Lacroix or Lacroix. If you're trying to be, um, you know, fair to the French language. I mean, I don't think. I think. I mean, I don't. I'm not like a medical person. Um, but I think it's always kind of been that way where like diabetes is really more of like a either you're just unlucky or it's just really like a weight thing more than anything. Whereas like, like you can be like, you know, just an overall really skinny person that like eats a moderate amount of sugar. And I don't think there's any like risk of that, but I don't know. I mean, I, I could just be talking out of my ass. I don't think anybody knows anything. And as a result, I'll continue to eat sugar. So. <clears throat> Meat is actually the devil. For real. All that red meat. It's the devil. It's red like the devil too. It's 
because it tastes good. <clears throat> I mean, I never really fell victim to that, I don't think. I got, like, really lucky in that I didn't really like, um, like, your typical, like, red meats. They weren't, like, I didn't find them to be awful, but... I also didn't find them to be like that good so it was pretty easy for me to like just not even before I became like even before I stopped eating meat entirely I didn't really eat any any red meat I really only ate chicken and fish so, so like for me I haven't eaten like a real hamburger in like probably like four years or something three years at least You ever just see a bodybuilder blend a few steaks and slurp it down? Yeah, that's disgusting, for sure. Definitely disgusting. Do I take any fish oil supplements? No. Yeah, I should, I mean, if I sp if I felt like spending money, I would get my B12 levels checked, but I don't, I mean, I don't, like, I still eat, like, a lot of, like, I'm still, like, a pretty, I'll eat, like, a fair amount of animal byproducts, and, like, I'll eat cheese when I feel like the meal needs cheese, or, like, you know, whatever, so... A lot of, like, the straight-up vegan shit doesn't really affect me, but I could. I mean. Best part of being vegetarian is getting told a veggie burger shouldn't be called a burger. <laughs> yeah, people... I've learned over time that pretty much everybody that thinks that way is just, like, they're just like a weird, they have like a weird pride attached to a, often their manhood. I feel like most of the time you have men being in arms, all up in arms about that. About like their pride as like a meat eater or something. And it's like, bro. <laughs> Chill. Could I do a backflip if I felt like it? Definitely not. Not flexible at all. I'm like one of the least flexible people ever. I should really stretch more, but it takes time, you know? Yeah, you're going that. Oh my god, you soy cuck. Oh my god, soy boy. Take your take your lap grown shit out of here. Yeah, I don't know. It's really, really weird. I feel like I've noticed more and more, like I've been so sensitive to like the, I feel like like toxic masculinity or like just hyper masculinity in general. It's just like so, so cringe. And I've like noticed it like so often, like usually in gaming, it like surrounds, you see it in communities of like people who work out, like esports figures that work out. Like, pretty much their entire fan base is, like, really fucking into it. And it's, like, I don't know. I just see a lot of, like, parallels between, you know, just being a piece of shit person <laughs> and having a, and having that Joe Rogan-esque uh, outlook on your food and your life. So... You're a chef and as a girl in a hyper masculine environment, it's so obnoxious and I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> I totally can understand that. Dude, chefs are crazy. I had, 
a lot when I worked at a restaurant back in uh, Jersey. I think I, I think pretty much all of the chefs were men working at that restaurant, and they were just the big. <laughs> These people are like. You go into the kitchen and shit is just fucking flying. And like people are fucking screaming. And like they're like one step away from just like beating the shit out of each other. And then they're just putting, you know, a plate out for you to carry it out or whatever. And it's just like. What the fuck? It's fucking crazy. <clears throat> Joe Green went on a full meat diet and then he <laughs> straight for two days. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, Jordan Peterson just a straight up fucking moron. So that guy is actually one of the dumbest people ever. He's like proof of like how fucking unbelievably stupid your average like pundit is online. Just like a complete fucking moron. Um, he has like a video on YouTube. Or, like, there is a video that exists on YouTube of him, like, teaching, I suppose, um, these students, probably eager to learn something real. And he has, like, <laughs> a PowerPoint up where he's, like, I don't remember what culture it's from, maybe, like, an ancient Chinese culture. Really, honestly, it doesn't matter. The art was very similar to, like, a double helix, like a DNA. And he's, he, he is confident that these cultures knew what DNA was. They were just creating DNA before, like, any, any form of modern science. The furthest you can be from it. And they're sitting here making pieces of art in the shape of a double helix because they're like this this is what i'm made of he sincerely believes that it's just an absolute fucking moron guys are all crazy and assholes and all have issues this way and i had to tell one of the guys i'm not here to deal with this shit i'm here to work so stop talking to me like we're in a locker room it really was like a locker room i'll give you that for sure yeah i don't know i'm not a fan of that at all it's just um I don't know. You see like, those kinds of people all over the place. And this is especially... Um, you see those parallels a lot. Like, online, if you're, like, on Twitter, and, like, you read, like, you know, a sexual assault allegation or something. Just an overwhelming amount of people who are, like, just clearly misogynists are, like, just gigantic pieces of shit. They're just awful. You go to, like, their profile, and it's just, it's exactly what you think it's going to be. Like, just, just super, like, really, like, hyper toxic masculinity culture. Like, there was this one guy I saw recently. He was just saying the dumbest shit um, in, like, the replies to some tweet, and I hated it. But I went to his profile, and it's him in, in the bathroom taking a picture of his back like flexing or whatever and his back I, I shit you not like I really could tell from the perspective of the picture like his shoulder width was like literally maybe the length of a ruler but he's like trying so hard to be like oh and then like with all of that you know with all that power he's going on to you know just shit on women on the internet for whatever reason so it's very very um they're very similar, I, I would say. Sports, sports. Yeah, I hate libs. I hate women's sports. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, like, regardless of, like, regardless of, like, the, the, uh, you know, what whatever the specific allegation is, it's always just... It's like honestly unbelievable. I think Muma had like a great way or a great retweet of this earlier. Um, he quote, quote retweeted something and uh, it was very true. 
it was sort of just like um like how do you like how do you even talk to your mom uh knowing that you know this is who you are uh and it's it's fucking crazy it's really true it's absolutely insane streamer i watched had to tell the guy to stop and he was like exactly what i just said yeah it's very um it's very easy to uh <laughs> to notice the the parallels between uh these people oh no i trust me i know but it's not even like troll like that's the thing is like if they were trolling it would be i'd be okay with it no i wouldn't be okay with it that's still just like fucking ridiculous um like if you're trolling being like you know some like you can't troll you're just either a misogynist or you're not but regardless even if that wasn't their real uh viewpoint like i can just tell by the way that they're typing that it really is like like there's no way they're going out of their way to like troll it's like a real person it's their real yeah it's their real persona um and it's fucking crazy like and it's like honestly it's not just you go to like their profiles and like the shit that they say, sure, it's awful, whatever. But like you look at their age and they're like 14. They're like 14 to like 18 year old men just getting like indoctrinated into this like garbage culture, just this hyper masculine misogynist culture by like their favorite like shithead streamers online. And it's just so sad, you know? And it's like, you wonder, it's like all of these esports are just like geared up. They're like, oh, you know, like let's include women. Like let's let's be all inclusive. And then like when you include women, like that's what they get. Like that, the, what they experience is like not even close to what like I would experience. They just get the absolute worst part of esports. And it's like, you just see these kids that are 14 and it's like, what's it going to be like in two years? Like when those kids are 16 or when they're, and if they're 18 and they're acting this way, what it's, what's it going to be like when they're 20 and they're 21 and they're like trying out for esports orgs, you know, or shit, you know, like that shit happens. Like that's like the real progression. Like they go online, they watch people play, they get ingrained into like a certain culture and they just carry it with them unless, you know, they, somehow find a way out of the the trap but it's like it's so sad it's so sad that's why it's like it really pisses me off like when i read all that shit because it's like i couldn't imagine having a community of like if i were like a huge streamer community of like 10k people even like 5k people or something the amount of pressure i'd feel on myself to not like mislead is is crazy and like they're they're just able to like throw out their dog shit opinions it's fucking wild absolutely fucking wild simple has literally been banned 10 times for the same word i'm like not even joking like fucking straight up like 10 times he's been banned for the exact same word yeah I, yeah i'm pretty sure he's he used um a homophobic slur in that language literally every single time he's been banned it's like <laughs> come on bro <laughs> like what's up ramon holy shit lost from the past log off weirdo yeah i mean that's like literally what i would do if I were a big enough streamer and I saw this shit in my chat, like I would be, it would be really draining to stream. First of all, to have like, like anyone who's big when there's like an allegation out, like has the worst chat a hundred percent. Cause they just have to deal with all of the bullshit. Um, like all of the shitty comments, all of the, you know, whatever it is, racism, misogyny, anything under the sun and they have to like moderate all of it and it comes in such a surge you know because like everybody's asking about like whatever the current event is so it's like 
It would drive me fucking crazy. I'm like constantly on the lookout for that. Anyway, they're all little men trying to compensate for their stature. Uh, but yeah. Eat whatever you like. And we'll loop it back to eating meat. Eat whatever you like. Just don't judge. The worst is when you're in the chat of a smaller streamer and they may not explicitly co-sign it, but they do nothing to stop it. Yeah. No. Yep. I mean, that's pretty much like, that's like a big, people don't see the world in the, in the same way. And this is like the same with people who are like anti-maskers, for example. Like, they don't understand that like, the world that we live in is like, you're fucking, it's like a sandbox video game. You you literally, you as a person could do anything that can influence anything else in the world. Like you can say something fucked up to somebody. Um, maybe it's really personal to them. They take it to heart. They have a really shitty day. It festers, whatever. It spreads, you say to somebody else. They're like, haha, that's funny. I'm going to say to somebody else. And then it's like, it's literally like, that's just the world that we live in. And it's the same thing with like being an anti-masker. It's like, oh, wear one if you want. I'm not going to wear one. Like not understanding like literally just how like epidemiology, like understanding what it is and like <laughs> how like pandemics start and spread. Like they just don't understand. They don't like look at the world for what it is. They just like think that they are the center of the universe. So like whatever they're doing, everything else will act accordingly. And it's just like, it's so dumb. So like when you have like, chats of people for example that aren't you know necessarily co-signing that sentiment it's like if you don't say something about it if you don't say it's fucked up or ban the person or like you know take a stance and be like none of this shit in my chat and like if you're that kind of person get help whatever um by not you know calling that shit out you just make shit fester you know like somebody in the chat could be like oh this guy's making this fucked up joke and I kind of think it's funny and the streamer's not saying anything about it. So like, I guess it's okay. You know, and then they move on. Like, it's just the world, man. It's how it works. Like we're all in a fucking, we're all in a sandbox video game. The shit that you do has like very, a very large effect. So. It's like the butterfly effect. Is not that movie? It's that movie with, uh, what's his name? Ashton Kutcher. Anti-lockdown protest here in Denmark was canceled because of rain. Aw, uh, poor, poor, poor anti-lockdowners. Running out of water. It's absolutely fucking crazy. Like, I I feel so bad for people that live in Texas. Um, someone, you know, coming from somebody who lived in Texas and, like, could, you know, by all stretches of the imagination still be there in, like, an alternate universe. I could still be in Texas. That's, like, fucking scary. Like, I would not feel safe at all walking around in Texas. Just knowing that, like, every anti-masker is, like, sitting there, like, oh, the government says no more masks, so I guess because our dumbass governor said no more masks, I guess the virus is gone, you know? Like, that's, that's fucking scary, man, like, I have, like, a lot, like, like, Muma lives in Texas, <laughs> you know what I mean? And he lives, like, like, when, where we lived in Texas was not, like, Houston proper. So, like, we're not talking about, like, at least the city life to, like, maybe 
you know, generally you'll see like a more liberal um, like demographic of people. And we're talking like straight up, we're sitting in like a suburb <laughs> in Texas with people just yeehawing all over the place. So that shit's scary, man. <laughs> I'm thinking about Bren. Because, uh, I mean, I, long story short, Dummy was living with them in California. And eventually Dummy moved just out of the U.S. because he didn't, like, have any prospects here. Um, <clears throat> but I was, like, attached to the whole process because I was, like, playing Valorant with him and he was, like, sharing a room with them and they were going to move. They moved from California to Texas recently. And as soon as they got there, they lost their power, had to boil snow for water. <laughs> and now they don't know masks are in a, are masks are now taboo in Texas. Like just all of like the craziest like Americanisms, just like as soon as they moved to Texas and I feel so bad for them. Helping your waiter take down a tent outside and the guy was giving me a lecture on how masks are wrong and we gotta fight it. I just don't understand. I literally don't understand. It, it's just, it's just so sad. I haven't been to a restaurant in fucking a year and a half or something. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just want normal life back, man. Like, I haven't, I haven't gone to, like, a restaurant that I enjoy in, like, over a year. I haven't talked directly about that, uh, MK. I just talked really more about the, uh, just the unbelievable amount of, like, inseldom that's, that's going on around the reception of, of that from the, you know, male Twitch community. It's fucking crazy. But yeah, I mean, like, I think the last time, actually, I guess it's been within a year when I was leaving Houston. I had dinner with, like, all of my, like, teammates and stuff um, before, like, it was, it was really bad. But it's been, like, over a year. And it's, like, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Like, imagine if we had just done anything early on. My friend's girlfriend's in a, her family's from Taiwan. So she's like in Taiwan right now. Just like, she like snaps me pictures of like real life. You know what I mean? And it's great. I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's sick. They're like out out and about, you know, it's just, you know, she like quarantined as soon as she got to the country. Actually, um, I watched, uh, who was it? Steven Adams, uh, NBA player on, uh, I guess on the Pelicans now. He, uh, he had like a recent interview where, as soon as COVID hit uh, the U.S., like a, a year ago, a little little after a year ago, he like went back to New Zealand. Um, and like when he got to New Zealand, like it was like mega lockdown. Like he had to like lock down for two weeks. Like, you know, if you're not locking down, like we'll know, we'll like check on you to make sure that you're not, you know, breaking quarantine and infecting people. He gets back to the U.S. Um, and they they were just like, all right. <laughs> well, yeah, it's God. Like, what the, f the fuck's this guy doing here? Just get out of here. He, like, rolls up the customs, and they're like, yeah, get out of here. Go enjoy. And it's like, dude. So sad, man. I feel so bad for, like, anybody directly affected by, by COVID. <clears throat> Yeah, 
it really is like the, the Squidward staring out the window. Like, I just want to have fun, you know? I mean, it's finally getting, like, warmish outside again, so... I guess I can go for, like, jogs and stuff, but... The worst... The winter was the worst, because... Fucking... It's, like, too cold to go outside. It's too cold to go for a run. So you're just literally indoors, just constantly. You can't, like, go outside, go to a restaurant, sit indoors. You can't, like, go to a store. I mean, like, you can if you really want to, but for no reason, you know, if you're not... If you're trying to minimize your your risk entirely and minimize your uh, threat to other people, you're just not gonna go like you know window shop in a store for no reason. Um, so like you're literally just inside. You're just inside your own home for months, you know, unless you have to get groceries or you know buy something specific. I haven't gotten the vaccine yet. No, I wouldn't have gotten the vaccine. Um, regardless i don't think if i like if i were able to i don't think i would uh like not until people in like my risk factor uh can get the vaccine will i get it which i think i mean looking at it you know like may is like the deadline for most people um but I think some place near me might wind up having it before then. The irony of my title, why? Because I was talking about it? Or because it's great? You think it's great? <clears throat> Thanks, Macy J. Yeah, chatting is cool. I've just been ending those streams with like just kind of chatting at the end. Uh, and it always lasts longer than I think it's going to. Oh, because of socials. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Follow me on it, though. Even though it sucks. Yeah. I don't want to take like a vaccine away from somebody who needs it more. So, I don't want any loopholes. Yeah, I feel really bad for people in school, actually. Like, in college. I fucking hate it. Like, I was so immature in college. Like, I never went to any of my classes. Like, I, I just hated it. Um, I was, like, super lazy. Uh, and I literally can't even imagine what it's like having online classes I would just I would just not even it would it would be literally impossible for me what did I major in um so I went into college not really knowing what the fuck I wanted to do uh and because I played like a bunch of video games I was like oh, I'll just do computer science so I did like maybe three semesters of computer science uh, and this was like when I was like pro in TF2 um, and really all I wanted to do was like somehow like just do something with gaming and I was like dude computer science is way too fucking hard to like juggle all this shit with like I would not be able to like spend the amount of time like practicing uh, like actually getting a CS degree and doing it well you know, not like getting like a C average. So I just went to information technology instead. And like, I had like so many, like the prereqs, like basically done already. So I just did like information technology major with like a, I did like a slight, I st they had it too late. I wanted to do like a specialization of game design, but I was only able to do like half of it. I did like two to three courses of the specialization, I think. Um, But, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. But they, like, I didn't, they didn't even have a game design specialization until I was, like, in, like, my late junior year. So it was, like, just too late for me to, like, actually do it. So, but I took, like, some cool, like, game design courses. Like, I messed with Unity. Like, one course was just entirely based on Unity. 
and you were supposed to like you know just make your own game by the end of it um another one was like just game design theory and like studying like different games from board games to video games and like balancing ideas and like you know design mechanics and stuff um yeah it was pretty cool we made like our own like we made our own uh like mad libs type game or like it was like some it was called something punny um and it was just a game based around puns you like pull a card and you have to like respond with like a certain pun You have the point in high school when you actually have to decide what to do with your life. Yeah. I mean, the American educational system, I don't know if you're American, but uh, the American educational system is pretty shit. So, I mean, if you have, like, parents that are, like, helping you through college, then I think it makes it a little bit easier. So you should... uh. Definitely uh, take that if you can. <laughs> All right, Macy J. Have a good night. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Ugh, last of my water. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully you have to deal with less masculinity in the future. But yeah, the educational system is, is massively fucked. Like from so many different standpoints. Like just like it it all started like it all started like connecting in, in high school, like toward the end of like senior year, when the military like visits your high school and they're like like the dumbest kids in the school like who has the worst grade and then they're like oh all these kids and then you just like see these like officers just like talking to uh to like all these kids because they have like obviously like less of a future in academia so they're like hey you could just come to come to the army you know and it's like okay <laughs> cool so like not a, like super like just preying on people that have no idea what the fuck's going on um but then, like, if, you're, if your parents, like, don't have, like, the money to help you, you're taking out, like, thousands and thousands of dollars of loans um, just for shit that you don't even know if it'll be, like, worth it in the end. Or, like, you don't even really, like, know, um, like, what you really want to do. <clears throat> and it's, like, it's just sad. Like, I don't know. Like, so much money for, like, something that should just be free and it's and it's wild and people are just getting fucked so hard year after year just like college is increasing in price like i'm pretty sure like rutgers like i went to rutgers in, in jersey i'm pretty sure by the point or what i was paying is nowhere close to to what people are paying now because it went up when i was in college like, while I was, like, paying from semester to semester, it got more and more expensive. And it's just, like, crazy. Oh, yeah, they, they recruit through everything. I saw, um, I saw, like, a, a sign on, on the lawn somewhere um, of, like, the military recruiting. Like, oh, we'll send you to, we'll pay half your college or something <laughs> it's like okay <laughs> i don't know it's so like they just prey on people that don't have you know that most people really who don't have the money to um afford college they're like don't worry we'll get you through it'll only take your life okay oh yeah and at like pax oh my god like I remember being at PAX with um, Dream. Was it PAX? Yeah, it was PAX. With Dream, um, ex-Houston Outlaws coach, current 
uh, C9 white coach in Valorant. Um, and we were just watching like the army like set up their booth and it's just like so disgusting like you see like little like 10 year old kids just like walk up and they're like oh call of duty you know sponsored by the u.s military and you have like this like military officer recruiter just like yeah you want to play take a pamphlet hey show this to your dad when you're done and it's like dude like this is a fucking video game convention man like get the shit out of here fucking so ridiculous <laughs> if you ever get asked to join the army yeah lucky that that never happened to me the dagger yeah, no, there was that. Um, it was like something about... Was it like the N-word? I don't even remember. I know what you're talking about, though. Um, nope. It was like awful. It was like they were just like making a joke about like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They were named Fukushima. Or like, oh, like, like, yeah, like, oh my god, it was so awful. They're named like Nagasaki or something, right? It was like something unbelievable. It was like Hiroshima or something. And like, that was like their name. And they're like, ha 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 ha. It's like, dude, you're a fucking psychopath, man. Yeah, I know. Activision literally consults the armed forces. I mean, like, I, I like, there's already so much like U.S. military branding in esports it makes me feel really uncomfortable like you're like watching like a stream and they're like and here is the halftime show brought to you by the u.s military it's like here is the here are a couple highlights of the game uh thank you the u.s military or we would not have these highlights that you guys are now watching and it's just it's constant and it's like dude like what the fuck man Yeah, the speedruns of getting banned were so funny. So fucking funny. Fucking what? <laughs> it was so funny. I think it was Jordan Ewell, right? Oh, he had like the funniest comment. Like he was just like in like a military stream and he's just like, how do you, wait, what did he say? Fuck, I don't remember what it was. It was so funny though. He just got instantly banned. I was like, well, how do you feel about U.S. war crimes? And then he got instant banned. <laughs> oh, fuck. That shit's so funny. I just took a class my freshman year of college that was just filled with officers and school cadets. Damn. It's crazy. So this AC is like one of like the, like it comes like, like we got the apartment with it being half in, half out. Like it just takes the air and blows it out like through the wall. But it like broke in the middle of summer when it was like a hundred degrees. So we had to get it replaced and like they replaced it in the laziest possible way ever. They just like took the AC and they just like taped around it. And I was like, okay, cool. You can like feel the cold. Like if it's really cold out, you just like walk up to the, to the AC and you like put your hand near it and you just feel how cold it is. Yeah, yeah, no, this is what I, yeah, yeah, it was Jordan. Dude, it was so funny. <laughs> and his name is like really chill guy or some shit. That's so funny. 
you're just like the army just like on twitch and you're just trying to you know do your typical army propaganda shit and you just have this guy called really chill guy come into your chat and ask about u.s war crimes what do you do you instantly ban him oh yeah i commented on this <laughs> so funny Oh, <sighs> all right. Well, I think I'm going to call it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. It was fun. Good chats. You know, good stuff. Beat trigger score in Kovacs. So that's important. Um, And yeah. Just uh, stay safe, you know, don't be a piece of shit, and uh, I'll see you guys, you know, I'll, I'll beat them next time, see you guys next time.